would be <laughs> that would be cheating, wouldn't it? But but no, I, I I totally believe that would be your view, and I think yeah, that's yeah, admirable. that's what, that's what I, I would honestly do. Yeah, I would I would I would let somebody else have something that is mm. of a greater value because you're losing seventy five thousand for nothing when you could get. When I still could, feel. Yeah. How about it happens this way? Your friend doesn't know, and you don't know your friend's gonna win, or your friend doesn't know you're gonna win the twenty five thousand. Yeah, and uh, you know he's gonna win the hundred thousand. It changes the dynamic, isn't it? If your friend doesn't know, yeah, he's gonna win. Yeah. If I don't know my friend's going to win 100,000 yeah. and, and somebody's offering me 25,000, obviously I'll go for the 25,000 because That's what I'm thinking. So I don't, I don't see I mean, somebody else getting a value out of me not me rejecting it. But if I knew that somebody else would be getting 100,000, I would, I would let that person get 100,000 because it's more value. 100,000 is obviously more valuable than 25,000. You have four 25,000s in 100,000. So you know that's the way that I would look at it. So yeah, I would. Would I, you let them know? Sorry, no, go side on. by side. You would have to be side by side with your best friend when this is happening, so that you would exactly. Know, you know, and then yeah. and then that that changes as you say the dynamic. Yeah. But, yeah. Um. Listen, I don't even do the lottery. No. I don't. Even, I, I occasionally put a lottery on if millions or something like that. I might do one. But I don't, I don't do it because I think, you know, they're two pounds a time now, aren't they? Yeah. And I see people yeah, going and a couple on a, a week and get scratch cards and this thing. They just say, they would, you know, they'd probably make more. Yeah. 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 I think well, once I went about uh, 35 pounds and I was screaming in the shop and I was like, <gasps> I'm so excited. Thirty five pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I I don't even do I don't even do it. it I mean, save the money. Yeah. Save it. Look after your pennies. <laughs> and what's that <laughs> other thing? Right. So what what I was what I was gonna uh, the topic that I had in mind was the there was an Olympian amput well there was an Olympian able bodied. Um, Right, there was there was a sports person, and um, he wanted to make the Olympian amputee, yeah, yeah. and and he had to amputate his finger in order to qualify. Yeah. Oh, in order to qualify to be in the in the Olympics, I mean, Paralympics. What? Well, yeah, in the Paralympics. Yes, sorry, uh, in the Paralympics. What? What? What do you make of that? What is? What is that? <laughs> Yeah, you think, you think it's crazy? I, think, I just think it's cheating. <laughs> mm. Right, so you think it's cheating? Yeah. Right, okay. Um, Trevor? Yeah, I think it's going right against the spirit of, of the Paralympics and the Olympics. You can't make yourself disabled, in my view, just to, just to cheat. It's cheating, yeah, to cheat to get into the Paralympics. So I think it's very, very out of order. But remember, that's the only way you can get to participate. Anyway, so let's hear Rosie's uh, opinion on this. Is it actually true? It is. <laughs> it's true. Well, I think it's an absolute disgrace, and I, I, um, you know, I think it's an absolute, it's an insult to all of those people that are actually, you know, para, para uh, disabled. You know, it's an it's an insult to them that somebody can go and cut off their finger to go and do something like that. And I just think that they should face the, the severest criticism and be thrown out of the country. Right. Definitely. I just think that's hor horrible. Because no uh, way. If, you, if you look at the degree of what he's done to what he's trying to achieve, it's not commensurate, you know what I mean? If you had said, cut off his hand, mm. all right, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> but you kind of...
All right, fair enough. <laughs> but you cutting off a finger? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Well, it depends what sport he's playing as well. You know, exactly. Is, if, if if it's archery, say, and, and and you know, and he was going to apply to be in the archery team, and he could only do the the be you know as good as the um, para Olympians, right. then you know, and cut off his finger so he could get it. But even so, it's just absolute an absolute no no. And send me his name because I will write to him. <laughs> I just think that's horrible. <laughs> horrible. I'm, dis I'm disgusted. <laughs> Absolutely disgusted. What, what do you make of that, Trevor? Well, I think, as I say, I think it's out of order completely. Mm. Um, do you know what finger it was? Was it his index finger? Uh, hang on, I think I've got the article here. Let's see what finger it is. Um, so this guy's Australian, Rose. So you might mm -hmm. need some international stamps for that to write to <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so and it's the Paris Olympic 2024. His name is Matt Matt Dawson. He's 30. Um, it was his right finger on the right hand. Breaking the ring thing. The ring finger. The ring, the ring finger. finger. The ring finger on the, the right finger. So, yeah. Um, yeah, which might be the least used, least useful, I suppose. Yeah, so. the least used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, thing he's to like, do. What sport, what sport is he engaged in? Yeah, hockey. No, oh. yeah, okay. yeah, so he's a hockey player. Um, yeah. So big team, man. Big so there, you go. there you go, Rose. We've got all the <laughs> details. Has he got into the team? Has he got, Has he got into the team? It, it did, yes. It did get into well, it. I, I, oh, I think that's absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's terrible. <laughs> if you had his phone number, Rose, I, I, I bet you'd ring him up and give him, give him a good I talk. would. I'm going to look him up. I'm going to look him up and I'm going to check. I'm going to check the facts because, you know, is it possible that he's had an accident? And uh... Yeah, that's the other bit. So he's had an accident, but it's... Rather than waiting for it to heal. Because, you know, sometimes you get a bit of... Yeah. So he's had an accident. Rather than waiting for it to heal, he's gone for um, having it amputated. So there you go. Right. It actually it brings me to mind yeah. something I don't know whether I raised a couple of weeks ago when we were discussing things like this, but there's a lady in America... Um, who a few years ago, I'm not sure how many years ago, probably, I don't know, 10 or 15, um, she always believed she should have been born disabled. Right. And this is this is totally true. You can look it up. I forget her name at the moment. I think Supling is her surname. Anyway, she believed she should have been born disabled, actually born blind. Right. And so somehow, and you can believe this or not, you can look it up and you'll find it's true. She convinced, um, I'm not sure whether it was an anesthetist or I think it may have been a psychologist, right. to, and wait for it, to pour bleach into her eyes to make her go blind. Now, she went blind. And the fact there is an interview on YouTube with an American chat show thing with this lady, she's completely blind and she has been for some years now, and the obvious question she was asked at first, do you ever regret this? Do, you know, how, how do you cope? And she said, no, I've never had any regrets. I'm much happier being blind than I ever was because I always believed as a child and as I grew up.